Hello, everyone. This is your friend Tim again, here to tell you more about my Christmas adventure with Jump Jump of Holiday House. Last week, I told you how I met Jump Jump, a little elf who was only three inches tall, and Mary Holiday of Holiday House. I also told you how I went to the North Pole and the Wishing Star. You see, Mary Holiday is Santa Claus's secretary, but this year, she hadn't heard a word from him, asking her to come and help him with the Christmas mail. Of course, she got anxious and wondered if anything could have happened to him. I was anxious, too, because without Santa Claus, there just wouldn't be any Christmas at all. saying, when we finally arrived at the North Pole, we looked for Santa everywhere, in his workshop, in his house, and then we heard someone calling to us. Hello. Hello there. Here I am. So we hurried to the barn where the voice was coming from, and there was Santa Claus himself. Hello, Santa Claus. Well, it's you, Mary Holiday. Oh, I'm so glad you've come. Oh, we're glad to find you safe and sound, Santa Claus. I was so worried when I didn't hear from you that I decided it would be much better to come right over and see if anything was wrong. Well, you must have read my thoughts, Mary Holiday. You were right. Something has happened. What, Santa Claus? I'm afraid there'll be no Christmas this year. No Christmas? Oh, Santa Claus, there has to be a Christmas. Yes, Santa Claus, there has to be a Christmas. Oh, hello, Jump Jump, my dear little friend. Uh, hop up onto my collar and snuggle down in the fur. I'm so happy to see you again. <laughs> well, now that our friends are here, we'll be able to do something, I'm sure. Where's Blitzen, Santa Claus? Where's Blitzen? Where's Blitzen, Santa Claus? Where's Donder, Santa Claus? Where's Donder? And Donder. Where's Comet? Where's Blitzen? And Comet and Vixen. And Dancer and Prancer. Yes, and Dancer and Prancer. Oh, Santa Claus, where are the reindeer? The reindeer are gone, Santa Claus. They aren't in their stable. No, Mary Holiday, I'm afraid they aren't. You see, that's the reason there can be no Christmas this year. The reindeer have been stolen, kidnapped. Kidnapped? Who? Who's been kidnapped? Me? Where am I? Who kidnapped me? <laughs> oh, Sleepy Slim is awake at last. <laughs> Sleepy Slim, you tired old lion. <laughs> and nobody kidnapped you. You're with Santa Claus at the North Pole. Uh, you slept every mile of the way from Holiday House to the North Pole. I uh, did. You did. Is this the North Pole? Yes. Then I'm the one who's been kidnapped. Help, help, help. <laughs> will some, will somebody un unkidnap me quick. <laughs> Hello, Sleepy Slim. Uh, don't you remember me? I uh, never saw you before in my life. Oh, yes, you do just look like...
like a friend of mine named Santa Claus. Yes, it is Santa Claus. Will you be It is Santa Claus? Are you sure, Jump Jump? Yes. Are you sure? Uh, yes, I'm sure. Sleepy Slim? Uh, maybe I'm dreaming again. Uh, pinch me, Jump Jump. Go on, pinch me. Go All on. right. <laughs> oh, 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 I did grab hold of the tail of the wishing star and come along for the ride. Yep, but uh, oh. I'd rather be an elf myself. Oh, sleepy Slim. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, Jump Jump, my little friend, and Merry Holiday, I'm beginning to think this isn't as hopeless as it seems. Why, with such good friends around me, I'm sure we'll have Christmas. <laughs> oh, I should say so, Jump Jump. It is wonderful to have friends. And stop jumping around and jingling the bells. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh, oh, Tim. Tim, in the excitement, I'd almost forgotten you. Oh, please excuse me, Tim. And uh, Santa Claus? Santa Claus, I want you to meet Tim. Tim lives in an orphanage. And he wanted particularly to talk to you, Santa Claus. How do you do? Oh. Tim has toys from wood, Santa Claus. Tim carves toys from wood, Jump Jump? Yes. Well, anyone who can carve toys from wood can be useful here at Christmas time. <laughs> oh, Santa Claus. Oh, boy, just wait till I tell the kids at home about this. I'm always happy to meet one of my young friends, Tim. Christmas Eve is the happiest night of the year. You know... I like to fill the stockings and pile gifts under the Christmas trees. And if you think it's fun to get Christmas presents, let me tell you it's more fun to give them. That's why I hope that something can be done to save Christmas for all the children this year. We'll do what we can to help Santa Claus. I'll help too. I'll help too. Oh, I'm sure you'll help too, Jump Jump. But now... Uh, suppose we all go up to the house where it's nice and warm and, and settle down around the fire. And I'll tell you what happened to my reindeer. You can't someone carry me? I'm so tired. Oh, carry you? Oh, of course not, Sleepy Slim. You'll have to walk like the rest of us. Oh, must I? Yeah, oh, sometimes I almost wish I was a bird. <laughs> but uh, I'd rather be a elf myself. <laughs> so tired, Sleepy Slim. Yeah, because I've been working, that's why. Working at what? Working at sleeping, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, everyone. It's not far to the house, you see. It's quite a parade. Oh, Jump Jump, Jump Jump, will you jump ahead and see if Archie Parkley the Clown and the Poet have taken our things out of the wishing star yet? Thank you, Jump Jump. Well, here we are, everyone. Up the steps we go. Miss Sarah and I'll have a bright fire in well, less than the twinkle of a star. <laughs> it sure was a funny feeling, actually being inside Santa Claus's own house. I wondered why everything looked so warm and cozy. Then I realized that everything in the house was painted red. Red doors, red carpet, red furniture, red curtains... Everything was red. You said you'd tell us all about your trouble, Santa Claus, and the mm. reindeer. Yes, I will, Merry Holiday. Oh, here, here, Tim. Try one of these big red apples while we're waiting for our supper. Mm -hmm. hmm? Thank you, Santa Claus. All right, I'll, I'll light the fire here. Oh, that's nice, Santa Claus. Uh, feels real good, too. Yes. Yeah, but settle down here. <clears throat> Well, it's like this. Yes. The ice queen who rules the ice country 
has declared there'll be no Christmas. What? No Christmas? No Christmas at all, Santa Claus? No. The Ice Queen's proud and selfish with a heart of ice. And in her magic mirror, she saw children writing letters to me from all over the world, telling what they want for Christmas. But that wicked Ice Queen, who wants the rest of the world to become as selfish and cold-hearted as she, decided to do all in her power to make it impossible for our children to enjoy Christmas. Oh, Santa Claus. And one night last week, I heard a strange commotion down in the stable. Yes? I hurried to the window, looked out there, and in a glittering chariot of blue ice stood the Ice Queen herself. Her hands reached out like pointed icicles toward the reindeer in their stable. And like crystal leaves in a storm, they whirled up and up and up. And then, before I could utter a word, it rose in the sky. And with a terrible crash of thunder, they disappeared. Oh, Santa Claus. Won't, won't she ever bring them back again, Santa Claus? Oh, yes. She sent a message that they would be returned to me the day after Christmas. The day after Christmas, Santa Claus? The day after Christmas. The day after Christmas, Merry Holiday? Yes, Jump Jump, that's what the Ice Queen said. She won't bring back the reindeer till the day after Christmas. But without reindeer, there'll be no Christmas. We know. Without the reindeer, there'll be no Christmas. No Christmas ever. Oh, Santa Claus, Tim, Sleepy Slim, it's a trick, don't you see? The Ice Queen doesn't mean to bring back the reindeer at all. Because if she doesn't return them till the day after Christmas, and we can't have any Christmas till they are returned, then she doesn't intend ever to give back Santa's reindeer. <laughs> poor reindeer. Yes, poor reindeer. Santa Claus. Yes, and poor Santa Claus. Poor everybody in the whole world with no Christmas. Oh, jump, jump. Jump, jump, hurry and jump outside and tell Archie Pogley and the poet to come here right away. And Sleepy Slim, Sleepy Slim, wake up. Wake up. <laughs> I'm awake, Merry Holiday. I'm awake. We all have to go find the Ice Queen and rescue the reindeer. The whole world's heart would break without any Christmas. Well, boys and girls, that was it. We all felt pretty bad, I can tell you. But not for long. Be sure you meet me here again tomorrow and see what happened next. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.